Irish potato cheddar soup. All right, so this is what you're gonna need. Some red skin potatoes chopped up about a half inch by a half inch. You're gonna need some carrot. So you're gonna do like 50-50 with the carrot and potato and one large onion, chop that up coarsely. And that's it for that. In a pot of about two quarts of chicken broth. Bunch of black pepper, salt, bring it to a boil. All right, so the other thing you're gonna need is a quart of heavy whipping cream. You're gonna need a big bag. This is a two pound bag of sharp cheddar cheese shredded. I got some marble rye. I'm gonna make some homemade croutons for the top of it with this butter in the oven. All right, so with the marble rye bread, all we did was put some butter liberally on each piece. And we're gonna put some onion powder heavily over top of each one. Some garlic powder, top of each one. And some salt on top of each one. And you can put some parsley over top of it. It's not gonna add any flavor to it. It's just for color, but it looks fancy. So just throw some on there. So then you stack them all back up and then we're gonna cut them. All right, so you're just gonna cut them all the way through one way and then you're gonna cut them in like crouton size, about half inch by half inch, whatever. All right, so after you cut up all the rye bread and season it and all that, you're gonna put it on some parchment paper and you're gonna throw it in the oven to 400 degrees until they're toasty. All right, so when your carrots and potatoes and onion are all done, you're gonna dump that whole quart of heavy cream in there, give it a stir, and then we're gonna bring in the uh, sharp cheddar. All right, so you're gonna bring this up a little bit as far as, um, you know, like a medium boil goes. And then you can add about half of this bag of cheddar cheese at a time and stir it up real well until it melts and, and do that until you get the whole bag in there and it'll start to thicken up. And then you can just, yeah, you're gonna have to taste it and you'll probably have to just add some salt and pepper to it until it tastes right to you. Stan, what do we do while we wait? Alright, so this is done after you tasted it and you added some salt and pepper to it. Put a little bit of broth in there. Alright, so the croutons are done. Put some croutons on top. Done.